Sorry for being late, but I was held up because of certain family issues and issues, and it became a huge pain in the butt in every freaking way and, and distraction. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching this Sullivan Island game. We have now to Spoon episode 375. I right, Kakashi versus Obito. I gotta give this episode a lot of credit because the way it was it was so probably one of the best fan favorite episodes ever. All right, it starts off where we started off from last week. He got Sasuke and Naruto working together. Even though that, even though half of that thing seemed a little fillerish because of Orochimaru and Tsunade's past, past and and the storyline during the Third Great Ninja War, but we all got, we all get the point. Yeah, but, th but that was just a little filler. Uh, not to mention the fact that you also get how uh, uh, they had some good moments and bad. You got this episode where it started on with them being on the battlefield, they're working together to destroy. He's the Juby, literally knock it down. Then you got, and then you have, and then you have, uh, have the other there's on the battlefield. They're trying to see if they could make their decision or not. For example, you got Sai. He's uh, he's doubting the fact that he and uh, that Sasuke could be trusted, despite Sakura and her belief in her say so. Oh, uh, Sai's a master of fake smiling. So he, even though he knows that, oh uh, that. Know oh, that that Sasuke's done a lot of wrong. They know that they'd have to trust him with all the power he has uh, and all the strength he has. And knowing that he, they can't lose him, they lose if he won't have his help. They won't have enough force to probably take him down. You know. Yet, despite all the situation, he even asked Kimimaru. Uh, he even asked not. I'm an idiot. Uh, he asked Jugo, and they don't even know each other too well. Why? What? He said for being here. He said my reason is to access Sasuke. That's the reason why I exist. Because he thinks of Sasuke as Kimimaru's reincarnation because of that. Uh, he has to protect. Had to, he had to protect Sasuke because he reminds him of Kimimaru. So mm. he's the only one who can calm his rage. He's, so you gotta give credit where credit is due. So, and I give this a lot of credit. Also, also. Also, I gotta admit, this was a fan, gotta be a fan favorite episode. With the animation was so beautiful, the dramatic, the music, and the surprises. For example, the five Kage are now awake. They're trying to get up to speed on the battlefield because now that the most of them are here, they're gonna get ready to go for another round. Now, they want to go back in headwise, knowing that the situation has changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. Especially knowing that Sasuke is there and the four, and, and the four previous Hokage are now back. I mean, they were already really not enough knowing that Orochimaru was involved, but not, yeah, but now that Orochi, but now that this, this is a major game change hey, for the side good. When I read the original manga of this episode, this ep I mean, the original where it was staying on, the original canon manga, uh, these episode, these have, these chapters were by far very dramatic and very emotional, and so was this episode. I mean, you have two friends. They had, they were, they were, they were, even, they were like, they were comrades. At first, they didn't get along with us, but I learned at the end they learned to respect each other. But only at, only at the end, and to respect each other, they had it all taken away from them, and because of tragedy and conflict, and this conflict led to divergent paths. One, one, one loose both because of a loss of a third friend and one became a soul one became one became became grown up one like became a little cold hearted at first but he he learned to become a true teacher and a friend and eventually because of their sacrifice the other one lost everything succumbed to madness and evil to the point where he wanted to literally destroy the world and remake it in his image next if we all know who are we talking about the Kashi and Obito so there Give credit where credit is due, and I gotta give this a lot of credit, especially in the surprise at the end. And this episode and this was very dramatic. You have Kakashi and Obito, their current selves and their and, his, and their past selves as little kids fighting each other. It's like the past and the present are colliding with each other. They're trying to conflict, even though Kakashi's trying to make sure to get, try to convince Obito to let it all go, but. Uh, with Obito's heart so full of darkness, he w it won't happen. He can't bring his friend back. The only thing he can probably give him is death. Uh, he's going to kill the current Obito, to return of the past Obito. These are Kakashi's own words from the episode and for the manga. Uh, this show was pre much a prelude to a, a, a unusual consequence. Not to mention the fact that how beautiful the animation was for the entire episode, the action, the drama, uh, uh, and the surprises. And for example. Apple, uh, 
So you got Madara who's sitting lay down on his butt. He doesn't want to deal with any wood clone. He wants to deal with the real Hashirama. He doesn't want to make for no no carbon copy. He wants the real thing. And even though now we haven't seen this kind of detailed animation in some good while. I think since not since Neji died. I right, so yeah. Yeah, and I yeah, and I just brought that up. And also since like the big the fight started coming in and that was also an epic part uh, for a major moment. Yeah, and especially for the surprise at the end. And uh, we all know about the ghetto out of Rene Rebirth, the, the jutsu that's supposed to make who's to uh, resurrect the dead in exchange for your life. Right? And the Norman off chakra and your, your hair turns white. Not to mention the fact but Madara can apparently use it for remote control using the power of for a white Zetsu and the Renegon to try to manipulate Obito and try to use it on himself. Because he wants to bring, come back to life and become the Jubi, reaching Churiki. Because he doesn't have his. So if he becomes the Churiki, he'll probably, he'll probably practically be unstoppable. Oh, so there. I gotta give. You gotta give credit where credit is due. And I give this a lot of credit. Yeah, this was a major episode moment in the world of Naruto. Oh, oh, because. Uh, instead of as Obito like I mean, some people like his his half looked like black zest black zest so because it was rotting turning to black and hair was turning white some people compared that heard that but that's just on look that's just about a basic look look because he is Zatsu and black zest are just are pretty much the same living plant creatures created from human DNA cells um, this one is Hashirama the other is Madara. Uh, so basically, yeah. yeah, so different plant creatures, different DNA cells. Oh, in fact, he, and his Obito's body seems to grow the same kind of of, of uh, what you call chakra chakra receiver pillar, black black spear pillars that Pain used during his arc, during the Pain during the Pain invasion in his arc. And Pain was really a punch of badass, and especially with his Renegon. And, and even though Nagato it was basically crippled, he used pain. Pain was a puppet. So, and the fact that Obito could also do this, these, these two fight head on. Now you got blood, craziness, and violence. This was probably one of the best fights that you can ever see for Naruto ever. So you gotta see, you see this. If you haven't, well, I feel sorry for you. Well, there. Uh, Obito, and also not to mention the surprise right, at the end, because when Obito when Nara manipulated Obito to use the Ghetto Auto Rene Rebirth her to use it on himself, Obito reversed it. Instead of using it on himself to, to become reborn, he, he switched it. You want to know how? I'm not going to reveal that to you because you're going to have to wait for the episode to come out. Uh, instead of making Radara come back, he used it to become the Ten Tails Jin Churiki. Hey, he, became the, he became the Ten Tails Tail Beast host, host and used. Madara's own trick against him. In other words, Obito has the power. But for how long? Those of you who ride the manga, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who have it, well, you're, you're out of luck. So, <clears throat> I put the link down in the description. You gotta see this. This is by far a fan's favorite. I give this 5 out of 5 because this had so much drama, emotion, and the, and the animation was literally incredible. Some of the best they've ever done. On, in any episode possibly can. Not to also, not to mention the fact, we're probably gonna go on break. Why am I saying this? Uh, uh, oh, we got to do so many stories, so many of the story. They're probably gonna, and not to mention the fact that the rumors of what's going to happen in the manga. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but apparently they're switching story. Actually, they're cutting some of the story short and putting in some new episodes. I mean, we've seen this before. They put in some filler just to make the story longer, so people can wait for the real stuff. Uh, but in, in, uh, in the meantime, you'll be entertaining with some good stuff. I've seen this over a dozen times before. Rumors, rumors, rumors. Uh, yeah, but we gotta wait, hey, for the best. And the best is the best to come. So, there. So, I gotta give this a lot of credit. So, put, what do you think? Give me your honest opinion. And what is your honest opinion? Write down your comments on the bottom of the episode. What do you think of this episode in general? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Hey, do, do I talk too much? Do I have a fat head? Don't care. So, give me your opinion. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks watching this. So, I'm out here. You have now introduced episode 375. Hope you're doing the next part to comment and subscribe. Signing off.